morning, Dana. It's Tuesday, June 23rd, and today I'm gonna talk about love. You and me, we like the same kind of music. That's why we make a good you and me. Well, I realize this video will probably make me look crazy. It's also something that I need to do. And also, I'm not really that concerned with looking crazy. When I was young, I did a lot of drawings of me and the guys that I had crushes on. Starting with the very first one. This is me and the first guy that I ever liked. I drew this when I was in fourth grade. I remember because my best friend in fourth grade, Amy Rubin, gave me the sketchbook and this was the first page. My idea of love back then was very hopelessly romantic. For instance, watching the sunset, giving each other teddy bears that had magnetic noses that would kiss each other. Oh, uh, that is me in bed with a guy. That hasn't happened. Doing the dishes together. This one's actually really good. Decorating the Christmas tree. Being proposed to in Monet's garden because the background of this picture came straight from a Monet painting. Sitting with the kids. Yes, those are my kids. If you think that's bad, I used to design my own wedding dresses. And it gets worse. You know how kids do fan fiction? Well, I did that. But it was more like band fiction because it was all Hanson. This is a picture of the way I thought my family would be. This is me, this is Isaac Hanson, and these are our children. We have Taylor Hanson, his wife, and their children, of which are multiple. I was like 14 years old when I drew this. Now, I'm not gonna say there's anything wrong with how I express my creativity. I think I'm fairly successful with what I'm doing now, and I think that I used what I did before as a basis for what I do now. You saw my thesis, and it was a lot about emotion and a lot about love. The reason I bring this all up is because yesterday, I got a postcard in the mail from my ex-boyfriend. Mm, I didn't really like him that much. I haven't talked to him for about six months, and the relationship was only three months long. He was missing some teeth. And I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do with a postcard that doesn't have a return address on it, that doesn't say anything. I'm not trying to be shallow, I'm just saying. I'm glad that he liked me that much, but it's over. Get over it. It's a really weird thing, because I'm always the one that gets dumped. And in this case, I dumped someone, and I can't get rid of them. Why would the one person who I would have liked to dump me, not dump me? Anyway. That's not even the worst of it, Dana. The poetry that went with the drawing. Pages and pages and pages and pages and pages and pages and pages of poetry that went with the drawing. <laughs> what cracks me up about these is they're all written with like jelly pens that have glitter. Like this one's blue and this one's green and this one's like magenta. <laughs> I just found the original emo poem and I'm going to read you the first couple of lines of it. Calling a doctor would cost too much, so slit my wrist and kill me without one loving touch. Will someone please end the pain? The game of life is shot and lame. There's a link in the sidebar to a video that you must watch. John's romantic advice. You know what? Just click on my face! It was nice sharing with you, um, you probably know way too much about my life now before you knew me. I'll talk to you tomorrow. What am I supposed to do with this? Leave suggestions in the comments!